to Vanessa. Van Life Journey, how are you? And those old women need to be ashamed of themselves. They are restless. Who has the time to dissect another day after day? Hey, Miss Amy. Miss Amy, say, hey, Vanessa. I am so sorry you are dealing with this. They will get what's coming to them. Don't you worry. Stalked. You have a question about being stalked? Uh, hey there. Miss Shay. They can't unless the father says they can. Uh, I have only been catching Vanessa for a short time. These women are haters and I don't even know most of what they've been doing. Vanessa seems like a real sweetheart of a soul just doing her thing. Yes, I'm just doing my thing, girl. Hey, Miss Carmen. We're going to wait till some more people come in the chat. I just got through ending another live on Vanessa's band life journey. We prayed. I was also live over here earlier today. Let me share these lives just in case you haven't seen them. This is uh, this morning's live. On this channel and this is the other live on Vanessa VIPB that I just ended it was really good uh, real good prayer so y'all need to watch that one as well the one that I just ended Oops, here it is. And this is the video from yesterday addressing me hitting the dog. I might put them all in a playlist. And Ms. Carmen say, I am in full support of you and prayers are up for you. I loved Psalm 64. That was so good. Wasn't that good? Thanks to the person. I didn't know you was in there, uh, Miss Carmen. That was a blessing. Thank them for sharing that with me. Somebody wants to tell you what gang stalking means. Gang stalking is a gang of people. that are stalking and bullying and harassing you. Uh, Miss Nancy say, Vanessa, I watch all your videos on both channels. I usually don't comment, but I love your videos. Thank you, Miss Nancy. 
Thank you. Hey, Miss Davina. Hey, Miss Rita. How y'all doing? Okay, I am back and I hope I didn't miss too much. You didn't miss nothing. I haven't started talking yet. I'm going to wait till we get some more people in the house and thumbs up the video. I hope y'all are having a beautiful day today. What are y'all doing this weekend? Let me get me a bottle of water. Uh, I didn't give you uh, no link to explain gang stalking. If you don't want to take the time to watch the videos, then unfortunately, there's nothing nobody can do. I just told you what gang stalking is. It's a gang of people stalking, bullying, and harassing a person. So if you don't want to watch a video that's on you, Uh, thank you, Miss Lisa. I know, Miss Amy, girl, the world is coming to an end. People better get right with Jesus because he's coming back soon. People got to get right with the Lord. People better get right with God. Are y'all drinking y'all water every day? Did y'all um, scan y'all receipts on Fetch today? Uh, I'm not going to make this live, live stream long. It's probably going to be like an hour long. An hour and 30 minutes. Not longer than that. Uh, cause I got somewhere that I want to go. So, yeah, it's not going to be too long. I've got on my shirt. Haters give me energy. <laughs> hey, Miss Charlene, girl. How are you doing today? My sweet, beautiful friend. How are you doing today? So, I'm going to get started as soon as I get 100 thumbs up in the chat. I'm going to start talking because I want more people to be in here. Hey, Miss Black Zillion. How you doing, girl? Miss Black Zillion say, hey, Vanessa. Uh, hey, Nutty Buddies. Hey, Vanessa. I watched the replay and I feel like someone has been missing, messing with my sister and I am pissed. One thing I know is God's mercy eventually expires girl you better tell somebody that the grace and the mercy of god it, it you know it's god is a very 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 merciful god but baby we just got through reading psalm 63 and 64 so if you didn't know you better go and read psalm 63 and 64 <laughs> that just run yo <laughs> oh miss black z you like that if you didn't know you better go and read Psalms 63 and 64, okay? 
By the way, Miss Vanessa, I joined you doing a facial yesterday. My face feels revived. Did you use the same stuff I used? Girl, I need to put... So now, you know what I used to do and I need to do it? I need to go to the store. I need to go to the store. I need to get me some grits because I need to do an exfoliant. And I think I need to do that today. I need to exfoliate my face today. Y'all thumbs up the live stream. And y'all go read Psalms 64 at 63 or you could just better yet go check out the live stream that i did on the other channel a few minutes ago i just ended the live stream and we read through and studied and broke down psalm 63 and 64 so y'all go check that out because it was good it blessed me i hope some I hope one of the trolls get, I hope somebody get del delivered and get saved. Sometimes you can't save them all, but if, if just one would take heed and turn from their evil, wicked ways, that'll be enough. That's, you know, God will be pleased with that. Y'all thumbs up the live stream. We're going to get started when I get 100 thumbs up. Anybody have anything to share about this situation? Any questions? I just got off the phone. About my stalking. By my neighbor. I think I spelled stalking wrong. I need to fix that stalking neighbor and she said she had the exact same thing both of our cars were burglarized network hacked and banked wow sad yes it is very true meet them with love they won't know what to do child we got to forgive people because we have to forgive people because if they don't stop then God gonna stop them and, and they ain't gonna even be able to forgive themselves like nobody is worth you going to hell for I'm not going to hell for hating nobody I'm not going to hell for hating nobody hating on nobody trying to cause nobody no heartache and pain girl ain't nobody worth me going to hell for Ain't nobody worth me losing out on my soul salvation. Ain't nobody worth me missing my one-way ticket to heaven. I'm trying to get a one-way ticket to heaven, and ain't nobody worth me not getting that one-way ticket. We just got to pray for folks, and hopefully before it's too late. That's the thing. Before it's too late, we hope that they open up their eyes. But all we could do is pray for them. We have no control over whether or not they're going to change, repent, or none of that. Thumbs up the live stream. I'm going to give uh, some more people a chance to come up in here. So for the people who don't know what's going on, I am being gang stalked. What that means is there is a gang of people stalking me, bullying me, and harassing me. There are over three channels that think it's fun, entertainment, to make videos about me. They don't care how it affects my real life. They don't care what it does to me in my real life. They don't care if the lies that they tell they're trying to affect my channel any association with anybody that has anything to do with me they go and they gang stalk those people they go over to the tiny home tours video and you need to unassociate yourself with this person you need to delete this video they want tiny home tours to take the video down of me 
because they don't want me to get no more subscribers, no more views. I mean, just it's just utterly ridiculous. It's utterly ridiculous that me sitting over here in this van, 89 degrees with my fan on me and my door open bothers someone else. These people have fixated in their mind. These people have fixated in their mind that they save in the world by trying to destroy me. <laughs> Girl. So y'all. I'm going to continue to talk till we get to 100 thumbs up. They have... made several videos all the people that's in cahoots together go read psalms 63 and 64 that's what they doing all the people that are in cahoots together made videos back to back to back to back saying that i killed a dog Nobody physically seen me kill a dog. Nobody have any proof that I killed a dog. They called Abilene State Park. They called the police department. They called the police department and reported that I killed a dog. The police department did their investigation Close the case at the state park and at the police department. Close the case. Vanessa didn't kill no dog. Yet, these people been waiting on me to respond for days. After I respond, say I didn't kill a dog. The police investigated it. They still have their videos up claiming that I killed the dog. Even though now there is a police report stating that I did not kill a dog. But they the ones called the police and said that I killed the dog. The dog, the police investigated it. Now they won't they won't uh listen to what the police report finding. So they they done said I killed the dog and I done killed the dog even though the police say I didn't kill a dog. So, as soon as I get to 100 thumbs up, I'm going to tell you these people did not stop. They did not stop at calling the Abilene Police Department. They did not stop. Yes, I do have a case for defamation and they have made it even worse. Wait till I tell you what else they did, y'all. Not only did they call the Abilene Police Department, and they and, and so I'm gonna try to not call nobody the devil. So this lovely, beautiful lady that sits under her blanket every day says she's lying. Nobody called the police department. You did. You did. I got documentation that Abilene Police Department was called. I got documentation that the police department in the area has been called. I have documentation. Yep, everything y'all doing being documented. I got documentation to what else you did too. <laughs> Got the text messages right here from the people that you harassed and stalked and called. I got they text messages about what you did, about what your gang stalking people did. And now what you see, you saying, oh, we don't have to take no videos down. No, you don't. You don't have to take nothing down, child. Leave it all up for evidence because I got mine. I got the police report. 
that y'all call to file a fake police report saying that I killed the dog. I got a police report stating that they have investigated it and I didn't kill a dog. So I got proof that all your videos that are up defaming my character is bullying and harassment whether you want to rephrase the word or whatever it don't matter whether it's allegedly you can't allege that somebody hit a dog when a police done an investigation to find that nobody hit a dog but you didn't stop there would you like to come forward and tell the people what else you did Let me read some of these comments till we get to 100 thumbs up. I'm going to tell y'all what they did when we get to 100 thumbs up. <sighs> Vanessa, I am going to try the chicken pot pie, pie from KFC. I will let you know how I like it. Probably today I will go, girl, and get that some kind of berry lemonade. Don't get no ice in it. It's good, too. Some people have too much time on their hands shaking my head. Yes, they do. Uh, Miss North Shore. Flood. Flooded first say these people are psycho. Fashion on a dime. Say, hey, Vanessa, distractions on your way to your destiny. Uh, Reed say, now you have a case of defamation and you can sue them every last one of them they don't they don't think i can girl keep doing what you're doing because i'm documenting everything we documenting everything black zillion say and they went straight stockage mode going irl contacting police and the parks to achieve what old heavy lip mud <laughs> but <laughs> rats rt say stalking defamation of character harassment is against the law yes it is uh they are looking for trouble for themselves yes it is psalm 63 and 64 they better go read it uh, Miss Rita say, sorry, I had to leave and arrange my rides for my different appointments to see my doctor. Hey, Patty. Patty say, hello, Vanessa. Y'all come on in and thumbs up the video if you haven't already. I'm here to share with my subscribers what is being done to me. And obviously, it seems like they have a problem when I talk to y'all and tell y'all what I'm going through. I'm not supposed to come on here. Can y'all imagine? Hey, corner. I'm not supposed to come on here, y'all, and tell y'all what's being done to me. When I come on here and talk about what they doing to me, I'm bullying and harassing them. girl <laughs> do y'all want me to drop the phone like uh turn the phone on so y'all can call ian do i have the right phone where is the other phone girl i got too many phones what i did with my other phone y'all want me to turn on the phone line so y'all can call in girl these people say when i would come on here responding hey miss melissa when i come on here telling y'all what's being done to me i'm bullying and harassing them they could talk about me in the comments they could they could lie on me every day but when i call them out on their lies i'm harassing them really I'm harassing somebody right now by telling y'all what they did to me. What in the Donkey Cone is going on? Uh, Black Celian say, Miss Vanessa, they have no idea 
the trouble they can get in. Girl, it's about to go down. I, I, I tried. I prayed for them people this morning on the other live stream. I asked them people last night nicely to take them videos down. I typed on my community post for them people to take them videos down. I'm willing to let all the charges that I could possibly file against you go. But stupidity does not does not respond to reasoning. Girl, they is some dummies for sure. I seen a content creator sue another YouTuber reaction to them. They got 10K and forced gag order. Keep bullying her clowns and see. Uh, Miss Braxillian, you need to email me on that situation. I need to go do some research on that. You need to email me, girl. You need to email me on that. Mm-hmm. Because, see, they, they don't know it, but they're going to buy my van. See, I ain't got the money to get my van this year. But if they keep on what they're doing, I'm going to get my van. <laughs> I'm going to get my van, girl. And they're going to say, well, she could win a lawsuit, but I ain't going to give her no money. Once I win a lawsuit, girl, I could put a lien on anything you own. I could put a lien on your car. I could put a lien on your house, baby. Keep, keep, keep what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. I put a lien on whatever you own, and you can't, you can't sell it until you pay me first. Okay. Keep on doing what you've been doing. You think somebody threatening to take down your YouTube channel, girl? I ain't even thinking about the YouTube channel. I ain't even thinking about the YouTube channel. I'm trying to I'm trying to think about how I could get compensated for the pain and suffering and the mental anguish that you guys are causing me by gang stalking me every single day. Love you, daughter of God. Thank you, Miss Gladys. How you doing? Do y'all want me to, uh, anybody want to call in? You want me to put the number up? Uh, don't say you want to call in. All you got to do is tell me if you want me to put the number up. Yes or no. Uh, I will. The person was foolish enough to mention them again. And his, and he's about to get sued again. Oh, those fools are going to buy you a Penske van <laughs> and build it <laughs> and build in no time. Yes, ma'am. Make sure you send me an email at Vanessa's Van Life Journey at Yahoo.com, girl. Let me type it in the chat. And they think nobody can't find out who they are. Let me tell you something, girl. If you are bullying me and harassing me, YouTube have to provide me with information to be able to... Okay, I'm going to just put it this way. I ain't going to tell you everything. I'm, just, I'm not going to tell you everything. Y'all think y'all bullying me and harassing me. Your identity is... is, is it's not going to remain anonymous when you're bullying and harassing somebody. You, you're not invincible. You are not invincible. Thumbs up the video. We need 100 thumbs up so I can start talking and telling y'all what these uh, lovely creatures of, of, of not God <laughs> did. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, let me find my other phone because some people sent me a cash app, but I didn't get a chance to, I didn't get a chance to heart it or acknowledge you or anything. Let me see. And I'm going to share my cash app.
How do I? This cash app thing looks different. How do I? Hard it. Y'all, they don't let you hard them no more? Okay, somebody, Miss Chanel, gave me a cash app. But YouTube is not letting you, I mean, not YouTube, cash app not letting you hard it anymore. I can't hard it. I can't do nothing. It won't let me respond. That's weird. I can't respond. I can't hard it. I don't know what's going on. Um... Uh, but if anybody wants to support the channel in any shape, form, or fashion, my Cash App, my PayPal, my Amazon wish list, and my mailing address is in the description box below. If you're not following me on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook, please follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm trying to get to a thousand followers on TikTok so I can start going live and playing praise and worship music on TikTok. So if a thousand of you guys can please follow me on TikTok, I would appreciate it. And here is my cash app. And if you want to send me something off my Amazon wish list, you can order something off my Amazon wish list now. When I return to Houston, I'm going to be doing an unboxing on all the gifts and everything that everybody sent me. Miss, uh, Patty say one of my friend's grandchild is locked up now for making comments on social media they tracked her down allegedly according to the grandmother this stuff is serious wow she locked up in jail girl md say hey lovely vanessa what in the donkey Kong is going on I hope you are okay. God bless you, sister. Yes, Miss MD. I'm okay, but these people don't want me to be okay. Girl, these people trying to get me killed. They trying to get me killed, y'all. Like, for real, for real. Like, <sighs> y'all, we need 17 more thumbs up. Thumbs, thumbs up the live stream. What are you waiting on? It's, it's free and it don't cost you nothing. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Look below the video. Hit the subscribe button. If it don't say subscribed, double check. Even if you think you are subscribed. Double check and look below the video and see if it says subscribed. If it don't say subscribed you are not subscribed to the channel hit the subscribe button once hit the bell and then hit all, all and you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video also if you're not subscribed to my other channel Vanessa VIPB please subscribe to that channel we just made it to 12,000 subscribers I just got through doing a video over there on Psalm 63 and 64. It was very, very, very powerful. Very, very, very 
insightful. It was a blessing, food for the soul. Please go check that video out when you get a chance. Hey, sweet baby. Hey, Albert. Uh, let me... Uh, let me see about putting the app on the phone for Talkatone so I could receive some calls if anybody want to call in. Is that a one or? I don't know what that is. <coughs> okay. If anybody want to call in. Uh, we still waiting on seven more thumbs up. If anyone, anybody want to call in, dial star 67 before you dial the number. Dial star 67 and the number is 732-631-7348. Can somebody type that in the chat? Let me, let me type it. Hey, Miss Kara, Miss Kara say, I am going through gang stalking crap myself. Only thing that has helped is knowing God is with me and everything will be okay. Uh, you have heavenly angels round about you always. Miss Karen, you need to read Psalm 63 and 64. That really helped me just now. What was the number? Star six seven seven three two six three one. Six three one. Seven three four eight. Okay, you could dial this number if you want to call in. Dial star 67 first. I will read it. Thank you. If you want to, you could go look at the video earlier where we read it together. And we read it together and broke it down and it was a blessing. Here it is right here. If anybody want to watch that and listen to it later, 
Hey, Anita. Hello, everybody. Hey, Miss Gemini. Hey, uh, Antoinette. Miss Boogle says she is back. Uh, hey, Vanessa, thumbs up the video. Uh, we got 103 people in the house. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I mean, 192 people in the house, 104 thumbs up. How are you guys doing today? I appreciate you guys being here. I just want to talk about me being gang stalked. I'm being gang stalked. I'm being bullied. I'm being harassed. I have asked the people that are doing it to stop, to leave me alone, to stop making videos about me. They make videos about me every single day, two, three, four times a day by three and four different people trying to get clicks and views off of my name, bullying and harassing me, talking about me, calling me out my name, everything but the child of God. I don't know these people personally. I haven't done anything to these people now one lady that i collabed with last year is jumping in on the bandwagon so she could try to get some clicks and some views claiming that i did things to her that i never did to her she has no proof that i've done anything to her but they all are just gaslighting and doing these things with clicks clicks and views and defaming my character and it's gang stalking because they all have gone, ganged up together, decided that it's going to take an army to take Vanessa down, decided if enough people lie on her, then maybe somebody will believe us. But everything that they are saying are lies, defamation of character. Psalms 63 was talking about all liars will be stopped. Y'all go read Psalm 63 and 64 today if you can, or just go click on the video. We're reading it together and studying both of those chapters. So, y'all, these people, for those who are just coming to the chat, had the audacity and the nerve to watch one of my videos, make multiple videos on multiple platforms saying that I hit a dog in Abilene State Park. They told their subscribers, go and report her. She should be reported. We should call the police. One of them even came live for hours. She going to jail. She going to jail. She need to go to jail. They want me to go to jail, y'all. So if you want somebody to go to jail, what you do? You call the police, right? So they called the police in Abilene State Park, called Abilene State Park, told Abilene State Park that I hit a dog. Abilene State Park opened up an investigation of whether or not I hit a dog. They investigated, came to the conclusion that Vanessa's van life journey did not hit a dog and they closed the case. So now there has been a police report that has been made that I hit a dog turning me in as a dog killer. And now the case is closed, but these people still have their videos up. They still, they ain't came back and apologized. They called, uh, Abilene State Park to, per, to per report that I hit a dog. They never called back to find out what Abilene State Park is saying. I told them yesterday that Abilene State Park has said that, has closed the case and said that I didn't kill a dog. They don't care. Why do you think it is they don't care? Why do you think it is that they do not care about the truth? Why do you think it is that they don't want to take their videos down saying that I killed a dog, even though now that there is proof that I did not kill a dog? Why do you think it is that they don't care? Why do you think it is that they won't take their videos down? Why do you think that is? Because all they, they act like they cared about a dog being killed. 
But now that you found out a dog wasn't killed, why you still got videos up? Why are you still going to let those videos continue to defame my character now that law enforcement has said that I did not kill a dog? So they didn't stop there, y'all. They didn't stop there. Can we get can we get a moment of silence and put a, some hand prayers in the chat? They didn't stop there. Let me tell you what they did. Let me tell you what they did, y'all. They didn't stop there. Can y'all put some hands in the, some prayer hands in the chat? Can I tell y'all with these good-hearted people, I am evil, I am wicked, I am a scammer, but let me tell you what these good, kind-hearted, God-fearing people did. Help them, Lord. Help them. So before I tell y'all what they did, I got a few questions for y'all. Who was in the live when I was at that farm the other day with the, uh, what was them animals called? What's, what's them animals called, y'all? Who was in the live when I was at the farm the other day with the, what is those, what is those things called? Uh, llamas. Who was in the live when I was when I had the llamas the other day? When I was at the farm with the llamas. Who was in that live stream? Who was in that live stream? Thank y'all for all the prayers in the chat because we gonna need it, girl. We need it. We need it because the devil is truly busy. I was in the live stream. Miss Doris, do you remember me ever telling y'all where I was at? Did I ever tell any of y'all where I was located? Did I ever give out the location, the address? Did I ever tell y'all anything where I was located? Wow, all the support coming in. That is a wonderful, so wonderful. I missed that live stream. I don't remember you doing that. Nope. I was there. No. Good afternoon, Vanessa. Hey, Miss Ortiz. I never said where I was at, right? Let me tell y'all what these demons did. Oh, I forgot. They not no demons. They Christians. They, they God-fearing, good, kind-hearted people. Let me tell y'all what they did. I Let me see what phone is on. Let me see if I can show y'all better than I could tell y'all. Because they always saying I'm lying, but they can never show no proof to they, they truth. They can never show no proof to their truth. Their proof is always some more lies. Okay, let me see which phone is on, y'all. Y'all know it might be on the phone. Saw it and... You could have left it up, Miss Corman. Y'all, I don't know why Cash App is not letting me heart your uh, things. So thank you to the people who are sending me Cash Apps. But I don't know why they're not letting me heart it. I don't know if they changed it.
<laughs> so let me show y'all thank you miss gladys for the cash app I don't think I could uh, hoard it. I don't know what's going on with Cash App. I don't know why I could hoard yours. I can't hoard the other ladies. I wonder what's, I don't know. Okay. So let me show you what they did, y'all. So this channel that makes videos about me posted pictures of me at the location on the farm with the llamas. They've since went and edited, but I got a screenshot of their initial. And then they put the address and the phone number to the farm and told their subscribers to call the farm and tell them that I killed a dog. Can can I, I I'm 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 stepping out for a minute. I'm step I'm stepping out. I'm I'm looking. I'm stepping out. I'm stepping out, y'all. I'm stepping out. While I am live, while I am live at the forum, they are calling the people, gang stalking, all of them calling, bam, uh, bam, what's the word I want to use? I can't, I can't get it out. Bombarding the people with phone calls and telling the people I'm wicked, I'm evil, I'm a scammer, and that I killed a dog at a state park. So, are they going to deny it? No. I mean, you can't deny it. You got the post. You got the post. up. You, and, and see, they're not ashamed of what they're doing. They're not ashamed. It's, it's, it's pathetic. But it's now it's criminal. It's criminal. It's criminal. You are stalking me. You stalked me. I never disclosed where I was at. You went and dug and searched like Psalms 63 and 64 says. You went dug and searched and found out where I was at. And called those people. Multiple of you called those people telling them that I killed a dog and scared the heck out of the people. The people don't know what's going on. They don't know what to believe. And they ask me to leave. This is a place I paid to be. But now I'm being asked to leave because the people scared. Now you're going to lie and you're going to say you didn't tell them this and you didn't tell me that about them. But I got statements from them. I got a statement from them. Even after, listen, y'all, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get, let me get this evidence for y'all. Let me get this evidence for y'all. Because they doing what they doing out in the open. 
They, they don't care. They don't care that they breaking the law. They don't care that they trying to, that they putting my life in danger. For what? So listen, they posted these pictures on their community post. This is on their community post. They posted these pictures on their community post of me being at the farm. Then they put the address and the phone number. You, you done changed it. It's okay. I already got a screenshot of what you did when you did it. They put the address of the phone number to the farm and said people should call in and everybody called into the farm while I was there and the people asked me to leave okay but they I got proof that they asked me to leave and I got proof that you called them so then in the comments the lady that sits under the blanket all day every day talking about me in the comments she type. Did she just go delete it? Nope. Did she just delete it? Oh, she just went deleted it, y'all. But that's okay. I got it. I got it. She just went deleted it, y'all. I don't see it. Let me see. Let me see if I can see it. Because it was there a minute ago. She just went deleted it. You could delete it if you want to, girl. Let me see where it said it might. She might not have deleted it. Here it is. So, y'all, the lady that make the videos about me all day, every day. She's one of the people that called the farm. She's type in the comments. Can y'all see that? She types in the comments. I also spoke, I also means you and other people, I also spoke to a nice man who said that they asked her to leave, but don't know exactly what animal she hit. So you call these people and tell them that I hit a dog at a state park. Y'all gang stalk me and have people ask me to leave a property that I paid. I'm paying for a service. I paid to be there. I paid to be there. So you, you, you acknowledging that you called. See, you're stalking me. You acknowledging that you called somewhere that I was located, that I didn't disclose where I was at. So y'all gang stalking me and y'all provided each other with that information where I was at. And y'all all called and y'all called the man. I have, I got, I got information from him that he received multiple calls from you guys. And then I got you acknowledging it on YouTube. That you are one of the people that called him saying, I killed a dog. But now I got a police report saying I didn't kill no dog. <laughs> so I'm on somebody's property by myself. And you're going to harass me while I'm on these people's property. You're going to tell these people something about me, make them scared of me. I could have got shot. I could have got killed. I could have lost my life because somebody is coming to confront me about what you saying about me. And I'm out in the middle of nowhere. And that person could have been scared of me and tried to protect themselves by what you say. And next thing you know, I'm dead because you don't care. See, now this is where your stalking done got you in some trouble. 
If you don't think you need to take now no videos, you ain't got to. If you don't think you need to leave me alone, you ain't got to. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. But now I got my evidence. I got my police report that I didn't kill a dog. I got a fact that you called the Abilene police on me. Fact that you called Abilene State Park on me. And now I got proof that you called a farm that I was at. That I didn't tell nobody I was at. So you stalking me. You had to go dig. You had to go find it out. And then all of y'all called the people. And that's something you proud of? You, you proud of that? So you go on the channel and admit that you did it. You go on the channel and say, yeah, I did it. You even go on a video on your channel and admit to calling them. <laughs> How dumb can you get? How dumb can you get? How dumb can you get? Let me see what y'all saying. And they don't think I got a case. And other people supporting this garbage. You supporting somebody, doxing somebody's location, calling in to tell the people that I killed a dog that I didn't kill. You call, even if you thought I killed the dog, you ain't got the right to be calling where I'm at and harassing me. Let me see what y'all saying. This breaks my heart for her. Uh, wow, these people are crazy. That is so scary. And they don't see nothing wrong with what they're doing. And then the other person with the bigger channel supporting this bull crap. That's what you supporting. But you say you do I doxed you. But now you see you in bed with the doxers. You probably in bed with the same people who doxed you. You probably was in bed with them from the beginning. Because how they found out where I was at. I ain't no doxer. I ain't dox your information. But now you see that they found out where I was at. Doxed my information. Called the people to where I was at. And you still supporting that garbage lady? Wow. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Girl, that is wild. Take a break. I ain't they need to take a break. What the these people are haters. Yes, Miss Gladys, Miss Baxin, say Vanessa. They are in so much trouble. Say it again. They are in so much trouble. I found the lady who broke down this content creator experience in harassment and defamation and what steps to take to handle it girl they are done they are done give me the information they done they are doing that to me too sis miss Buddha say you have so much support thank you for all supporting vanessa her real nutty buddies. Uh, Miss Corner say, OMG, that is horrible. Miss Vivi say, it's a spiritual war. Patty say, oh my goodness, called the form. They called the form and told the people I killed the dog and told people, told the people other stuff about me. Lord, say, uh, exactly. I am so scared. Exactly. So scary. Uh, Doris say, I am starting to fear for your safety. Please be careful. It is against the law. And if convicted, you can get up to three years. I'm not understanding what amount of hate you have for me is worth the risk you taking for your own life and your own freedom. Patty say, yes, VV, spiritual warfare. Girl, this is more than spiritual warfare. Uh, let them keep it up. 
you get your lawyer and sue for defamation of count girl i, I was trying to tell, tell them to take the stuff down last night but they didn't want to listen boodle say omg they are stalking you girl stalking stalking hey gary harassment doxing defamation because you had to dox my location harassment and then listen y'all they didn't just harass me they harassed the owners of the farm by continually calling them people back to back to back to back they even called the people even after i left the people let me know they still calling us I got I got the emails back and forth between me and the owner of the property. <sighs> they are done and the fools don't get that what you put on the internet stays there shaking my head. Marie say that is wrong. What is wrong with these people? I don't understand why they go to these lengths to do things like that they need help yeah and they girl they calling me every name in the book but they passed crazy i don't know i don't know i was there i seen cows yeah miss rita i showed y'all like the cows and stuff but i didn't tell y'all where i was at i didn't show y'all the name of the place or nothing you sound stupid don't come in my chat with the stupid uh comments um hey there lolo Miss Rita say, I was watching the live for a while and you took a walk. I think you got yourself cleaned up. Uh, Miss Eloise say, I say press charges. VV say, you can get your money back. Um, Miss Raz say, OMG. Ms. Shea say, these elderly demons don't believe fat meat grease. Uh, Ms. Pamela say, karma is going to hit hard. Uh, will take your coward self on somewhere. <laughs> Trying to draw. <laughs> Ooh. Yes, press charges on her. You have a case. I don't know why they don't think I got no case. They crazy. And I got witnesses. The people that you harassed and called to put me off their property can be subpoenaed as witnesses that you call them. You have a very good case. I am so sorry I found out about you through Tiny Home Tours edition and was inspired by you. This is so sad to see. Thank you, thank you, thank you, uh, Pooh Bear. I emailed it, Miss Vanessa can i call really quick my voice is going out but can talk really quick yes you could call you can call in you got the number or you need me to tell you again okay call again i missed it call again Hello? Yes, Ms. Vanessa, this is Black Stallion. Uh-huh. I wanted to talk to you about what is going on. You want me to have it on the live stream? 
It's on sure, my, okay, on okay, screen. okay, they can hear you. Okay, uh, first of all, what I want to say is, I have been watching you, I think, inside of a year. Uh, you do nothing but vlog your experiences as a woman of God in van life. And what these people are doing is harassment. And they don't understand that they think because they hide behind an identity or they don't show who they are or whatever the case may be, you're still able to be located and you're still going to be in trouble. Um, what I sent you was a video and it's showing everything in detail what this gentleman went through. Um, this woman, she was doxing him. Uh, this woman was lying on him, saying he was doing things uh, as if he was going in real life, and he wasn't. Uh, she said that he was trying to cause problems for her and her family, lying on him. And he was able to get all of that together, and he, he filed a lawsuit, and he eventually won. What these females are doing to you is absolutely disgusting. They are doxing because all you did was vlog your experience. You didn't say, hey guys, I'm at this place located here. Come see me for a meet and greet. You simply were just vlogging your experience. Now for someone to be sick enough to go into detail and to try to find where you are and then expose it to other people, they're putting your life in danger there's other people that are even sicker than them that could come out there and hurt you. So it's kind of sad that you always have to be ahead and leave before someone can get access to you. And not only are they threatening your life, they're lying on you, trying to affect your money. Uh, they're defaming you, lying and saying you're doing things. They're involving uh, a government officials uh, completely lying. And what's so silly is, if they're so-called reactors, why aren't they giving you some credit? Because you're the one that's paying their bills, if they're getting paid. Hmm. That's what is so disgusting. You're running your mouth talking about this woman every single day in your lonely, pathetic life. And you don't even have the decency to say, you know what, I was wrong, my mistake, she didn't hit a dog my bad you know it would show some level of humanity but you can't even do that you'd rather just double down on it and keep on riding the horse but guess what mercy eventually expires it eventually expires now this person that harassed this gentleman she lost her channel she had to fork, uh, fork over ten thousand dollars um they will cease your funds it may take some time but they will put a hold on your funds to make sure you are paying what is just due. Now this woman wants to cry about her husband and all this other stuff that everybody is saying. She's going to be crying about more than that if they keep on. This woman with the blanket chain ain't going to be able to afford a blanket. <laughs> These people really need to stop harassing you and leave you alone. All you're doing is living your life. You are, tr And this is the most scary part. Even forget that they're trying to mess with your money going to this uh, channel, Tiny Tour Homes and stuff. Not only are they trying to affect your money, they are stepping on God's toes and affecting you being fruitful and, pay, and, and, and paying it forward, telling everybody God's glory, what he's brought you through and what he can bring us through too. They are affecting people. And you think you're not going to be in trouble with God because you make five bucks in your pocket to lie on a woman? That fact that she has to take time out of her life and to say, you are bullying me, stop harassing me, leave me alone, leave me alone. To all of these lonely, pathetic women, it speaks volumes. And they have no idea the time that you're taking to do this is time taken away from telling God's glory. And we know you do in, your, in all of your videos, you know, because he's worthy of that glory. But they're taking time away for you to even be able to do that. And they're going to be in trouble for that, too. And they think that they're doing something. They're not. They're just... They're, 
is sad, and it really, they think they're, everything that they're saying is hurting you, but really all they're doing is exposing who they are, how their behavior is, their character, and it, it, the more and more they do this, the worse they look. You can erase stuff, you can private stuff, you can do what you want to do. You already exposed how you are. And anybody that watches it, supports it, you're just like them. Just like them. Trash. And, and you know, yes, I, you know, I'm, forgive me for being shallow. You know, these women already had it against them outwardly. But when you're acting ugly too, <laughs> oh, ma'am, you, you are just Mogilla Gorilla at this point. Like, you, you really need to stop because when you have ugly behavior, it just makes you ugly. Mm -hmm. And they have ugly spirits. What happened to you in your life to be so... A lot of us have been through things, just like Miss Vanessa. Molestations and other SA, DV, all these different things, sicknesses, illnesses. But we don't have to be ugly. What happened to you in your life to be so ugly? And the thing is, Miss Vanessa, if, if I'm commenting in your stuff and you don't agree with what I say, and you block me, guess what? I'm still going to watch because I love you. I love your character. I love your love for God and how God reigns through you. Why would I sit here? That says something about me to go and be coward enough to join up with other cowards and hate someone. I don't have to dislike someone in masses. I can dislike you all by myself. They're punks, literally. Yep. And I feel bad for them because that is, that, that's who they are. They don't know how to handle things on their own. And if you had a problem with Miss Vanessa, take it up with her personally and get over it. But if she don't want to talk to you, she has her rights. No one has to talk. I got family members I won't talk to. Think I'm going to talk to some dried up strangers because you mad because I won't do something the way you want me to? Hmm. I don't know why they mad at me. All of them have been blocked over here. So, I mean, I don't know why you mad at me because I seen through you or my spirit just didn't want to accommodate that type of toxicity or drama. Whatever it is, I am on a road to bettering my life and, and, and getting rid of everything that, that don't need to be a part of it. So, I have a low tolerance for a lot of stuff nowadays. I do. I used to take a lot. I don't no more. Ms. Vanessa, let me tell you something. When I found your channel, I don't even know what happened, but I was in a down point in my life. And I happened to go across the little tiny tours channel. It was in my news feed or whatever you call it, the recommended. And because I was like, you know, I just want to become a nomad. I'm tired of this life, tired of this, da da da. But when I seen your channel and it talked about what you went through, where you were living, and it, it dawned on me. I'm like, you know what? It does not matter what we live in, where we are. We're going to go through something. We've got to prove ourselves to God, you know. And it really gave me strength to keep going and keep pushing. And as I say, people don't understand how they are trying to block God's blessings for other people who may need to hear a message that you have for them to make it another day. That's true. I wouldn't even call them the devil because at least the devil is beautiful. Them, let me be quiet. Let me be quiet. <laughs> I'm going to be now. But no, the devil is a beautiful angel. I'm sorry, he was just rejected. Man, <laughs> these females are not anything remotely beautiful. They need to take some spa days. Go vlog something and do something with yourself. Miss Vanessa got this beautiful glowing skin. What are y'all doing? Besides looking like you're rolling around in powder factories. Just ashy and evil and just rejected. That's really what it is. They're rejected, and they can't handle rejection. And I'm not going to go there about that one subscriber, I tell you. Miss $4,000, ma'am, have many seats. Oh, you could go there if you and want to. The, oh, yeah. 
have some seats. Take some seats for your little friends, too, that are reacting, making these videos. Have plenty of seats. Mm. Just because you're trying to buy someone's friendship so you can control them, you're set. And that says something about you, too. Yeah. And yes, Black Zing and Kisses, baby. That is my name. Go ahead and say something about me. I'll say it again. Black Zing and Kisses. There's no shame in my game. I can lose everybody as long as I have God. She has supporters, honey. You don't have to worry about that. We're not going anywhere at all. And they trying to say I'm a scammer? Who have you seen me scam out of some money? Miss Vanessa, you have not scammed anybody. You, you don't even, what you're doing is a job, okay? That is like saying to someone, I used to work in office and in sales a long time ago. Now, I'm doing business concerning utility phones and all these different things. Then at the end of the call, you have to talk about products that you have available for sale. So does that make me a scammer too? No, I'm doing my job. That's up to people to decide if they want to support or not. She's not scamming anyone. She's living her life. She's striving to please God. And you mean to tell me that is considered vile? Yeah, but, but you're not talking about anybody out here committing violent crimes for people. I'm just trying to make it. That's all I'm trying to do. Just surviving and trying to but keep my head against above water. But God got you, Miss Vanessa. You know he does. He, he got you. He do. And he got them too. And the thing about it is that I, it's just such a piece. When they did what they did to me the other day at that forum, I pulled over after I left because I drove a whole hour to that location. I, I drove a whole hour to that location. By the time you're telling me I have to leave, now I got to go find somewhere else to sleep. You're endangering my life twice because you don't know how those people could have responded to me and what you were saying about me. Exactly. If they, if they what they said made someone afraid, they could have took out a sawed off and could have just because some people shoot first, ask questions later because we're in a time that is so dangerous. It's so dangerous now that you even have to be careful with the police because you don't know what can come of that. Yep. Because everybody is either scared or sick in the head. And you have to protect yourself. And so when someone is sitting there saying, ooh, she's dangerous, dog killer, blah, 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 and you're sitting here and you're telling this person this, you're putting people in, in, in anxiety. And you didn't, not one person called, I'm talking about a gang of people. A gang of people oh, I called. It. I believe it. I've seen it happen a good few times, and it's, it's so sad. There was this woman that um, was on a journey to have weight loss surgery. She didn't tell the name of her physician. She didn't tell the name of her surgeon. But some miserable woman went through a list of surgeons, singled them down, and tried to figure out which surgeon was for her. She faked an appointment in some kind of way. She found out who it was, told her viewers. They all called and called the woman to say, you know what, forget it. I'm not even going to do the surgery. You're affecting people's lives. You're affecting people's safety. You're affecting other people's businesses. And you think you're not in trouble? But even more so, you're in trouble with God. Because look what you are doing. This woman is helping us through what she's been through. We're all helping each other with our testimony. Instead of crying about a dried up husband so you could try to get some chump change, how about you tell the goodness of God and what he's brought you through and encourage somebody else that they can make it too. That to keep fighting. But instead, you want to hate on this beautiful soul, on this beautiful woman. You will never be her. You will never have what she has. You can try to strip everything you want. God will still replace it and mend some. Because guess what? When we die, we're not taking any of this stuff with us. Doesn't matter. So you really feel like your soul is worth a few coins? Try to destroy somebody for what? 
because she don't want you chatting in her channel? Grow up. And you said they're older than you and everything. One of them, I think you said was what, almost 80 something? <laughs> Oh, man, you should be you should be smelling graveyard dirt at this point. You need to calm down. Mm. You need to calm down. I'm sickly myself in my 40s. But that's what I'm saying. Like, every day is a reminder that we're going out of here. And you want to spend your time being miserable and nasty towards somebody else who ain't thinking nothing about you? I'm not. I'm not thinking about yeah. nothing. And you know, even though even the ones that I left alone that want to talk about I did this to them, I did that to them, I doxed them, I doxed them. Man, you are over there with people that just doxed my whole location to somewhere that I didn't tell nobody I was at and you saying I the one dox you? No. You sleeping with the enemy and you know it. Exactly. See, I will not. That person wants me to speak on them so bad, so they will have something to talk about. If you if you notice their channel is they don't try to concentrate on the content. They try to concentrate on the messiness. That's what gets them their clicks and their views. So they need me to address them so they will have something to talk about and because i won't address them that's why they jumping on the bandwagon and keep getting in the camera and saying my name and saying my name and trying to get me to respond to them but i can't do that because from day one I have a legal case against you you claiming i did something i didn't do you can't prove it you keep coming to say it and and i'm trying to i'm trying to get these people grace but they don't want no grace so grace is sufficient for me and, oh yeah and now god and took and took and now i'm taking my grace from you since you don't want it you don't want to listen you want to be hard-headed you want to think i actually do not have a case against you for what you're doing you want to listen to the leader dummy the head honcho that goes around calling people and then types on youtube and say i called them and i talked to them Oh, yeah, you definitely got a case. And what's crazy is, I had to let my son in real quick, but what's crazy is that they think that you don't have a case. Like, oh, my God, my mouth would be watering because, they, oh, like I said, they're going to get you a van, and they're going to build it for you and everything. They're going to give me a van. And then they're going to be sitting there looking silly because whatever it was that they were trying to do, it failed. They don't think, I, they don't think I'm going to do nothing. But I, I was gonna trying to let them slide. I was trying to let them slide. I'm trying to have mercy. But you know, you 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 come on here and say I'm lying. Uh, you done called the police and opened up a case, and then you are gonna say I'm lying. Ain't nobody called the police, but you called the form. If you called the form, you called the police too. Exactly. Because you called the form, telling the form that I killed the dog in Abilene State Park. Mm. So you called the police too. Right. Don't, oh what, what you scared of? Like you say, either double down clown or just sit down. Right. Double right. down and bite the bullet and say I did it or just, or just come and apologize and say I'm sorry. And that would be more, uh, oh, one second, my son's letting my dog out. Hurry up, Miguel. Sure. But the thing is, is that they, they just don't understand that how big this could have been, how dangerous this could have been. And then if something had happened to you, then what? Then what could they have said? That's what they want to happen. They, they want something to happen to me. Hair. They want something to happen to me. That's just insane, but they just don't understand that when you are doing something to someone, you may get a moment's satisfaction, but they need to look at the bigger picture because this is bigger than just Miss Vanessa. You're now messing with one of God's children. Mm-hmm. And, and they, God said vengeance is mine. They don't, oh, and baby. They don't think I'm a child of God, I, and then they want to talk about I'm evil every time I talk about the things people have done to me before, and they ain't here no more. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm telling and when it says in the Bible, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, I'm telling you, Mr. Nessa, I don't see some things in my life that are insane. Insane. I'll tell you this one real quick. There was this gentleman 
that was protecting his home, but he was living a shady life and what have you. Somebody came and tried to rob him in his household. He ended up, you know, protecting himself and shooting the individual. Again, he chose that lifestyle as the trouble he got into. So he continued that lifestyle. He didn't go to jail for hurting, you know, and, and killing this person. Well, a year later, I'm, I kid you not, exactly to the day, a year later, he was in that man's position. And he went to someone's house and tried to do what someone did to him a year prior. And guess what? He's no longer with us. Hmm. Eventually, mercy expires. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. You better be careful your actions that you are taking, because not only can it affect you, it can affect your children, yep. your loved ones. It can affect anybody that you love and care about. That's what people don't understand. You have to be careful how you treat people because it can affect not just you, anyone around you. Look at that, the, the, the story of Moses, all the firstborn kids, all the firstborn gone. They weren't doing what their foolish father did, what the parents were doing. Yep. That's what don't I was they understand how dangerous this is? Yep. Sin can affect generations, even after you gone. And they don't, re they don't realize, they don't care nothing about their own family members because what you're doing to me can turn on one of them. It could skip you and go to them. Like exactly. God could make you, you could end up crying like you trying to make me cry. He might not punish you. He might punish something closer to you or take something closer to you to make you feel how you make me feel. Exactly. And sometimes it hurts worse when you get somebody that you want to protect with everything in you. It hits you harder than it would if he would hit you himself. I was talking about two ladies. Then this demon want to say I was talking about her and somebody else. I wasn't talking about you, lady. I was talking about somebody in my real life that I know personally. These two ladies used to sit up on the phone and talk about me. They used to talk about me. They was lying to each other about me and just attacking me. And I had left both of the, pe the females alone. And both of those ladies, both, I'm telling you, both of them lost a child. Mm. Both of them set up and I lost a child. You. Both of them. How is it that two women that sat on the phone talking about me day and night that I wasn't thinking about, wasn't having no association with, I left those people alone and they both lost a child. Right. And they both lost children that they adore. Like, they, they oh, children was their gods. Those children were their gods. Right. But... And People want to sit here and talk about, you know, God is love and God is love. You're absolutely right. He is love. And he doesn't is love mine. the decisions we make. But don't act like he will not bring wrath upon you. He will destroy you if he needs to. God done destroyed the earth once with water. And he say he will not destroy the earth again with water. The next time it's going to be fire. Exactly. So... I'm not, and so even if the fact that we know it's gonna be a next time, what that mean? <laughs> exactly. And I looked at the replay in the middle of the night. I couldn't sleep. I swear. But I see someone talking about you praying to God to cover you. What else is you supposed to do? What do you mean you can't pray to God? Of course you're going to pray to God. If your kid was being bullied in school, do you not want your kid to come to you and say, Ma, I'm being bullied. And then let your mom do something about it? And you're going to tell somebody they can't go to God about their problems. We're supposed to go to God. You go to a doctor when you're sick. Yep. And you call so a lawyer when you you call a lawyer you. when you need help. I'm, I'm going to Jesus. Exactly. And that's, exactly. that's what somebody has shared today, Psalm 63 and 64. That's what Psalm 64 was saying at the beginning. I'm coming to you, Lord. My enemies are trying to consume me, trying to kill me. I mean, I'm supposed to go to God. I'm, they trying to kill me. They doxing my location. 
they calling people i'm at a farm and they calling people in real time and telling the people i done killed a dog and telling them i'm a con artist and telling them i'm scamming people out of money and all this stuff and them people get scared as hell and say you got to go right do you know how many people have succumbed to injuries because of misunderstandings, because of miscommunications? And you're going to sit here and defame somebody? Defame someone because what? You, you don't like how they choose to live their life or because they don't want nothing to do with you? Get some chill. And see, the thing about, so this, thing about this one individual who you know I ain't saying no names, the thing about this one individual that I left alone and, and minding my own business, don't want no affiliation and association with, if you was a good person, you wouldn't be doing what you're doing now. But now you've proven to me why God told me to leave your house in the first place. Right. Because, see, it's the thing about it is, some I don't just do stuff and it's somebody that actually knows my struggle like that night I stayed up all night long and I didn't go to sleep and I cried because God told me to leave right the spirit of God say Vanessa go to courtside and I said but I, I said I was gonna do this I said I was gonna do that and God say go I stayed up all night right. long battling and crying and crying and crying. And ultimately, I wasn't going to listen. I was going to stay. Because I'm, I like to be a woman of my word. I was going to stay. And then I was speaking to somebody. And that person asked me a few questions. And I answered their questions. They say, Vanessa, there's your answer. I say, Doo -doo -doo start up the car and get in it right and go because right. and then just just think about the goodness of god okay god told me to go right so this person is so worrying about how i left why i left why i didn't stay why i didn't do that but then i left and i'm the one sleeping in a van whether it's your parking lot or whether it's in a, in, in, a, in another parking lot i'm the one sleeping in my van i never slept in your house one time i'm the one sleeping in your van I, it's summertime how are you more concerned about why are you why why if you was my friend you would be on youtube saying she left my house and she didn't why wouldn't you say i understand why she left she was sleeping in a van it was about to get hot she needed to go get settled in Right. So I left your van. I rented a spot with a shed. It was hot. I had to go get an air condition. And then the people end up selling me a trailer, which end up being featured on Tiny Home Tours. Isn't that what God had planned for me? And not being at your house? Right. So why would you, if you were my friend, have a problem why would you not even see if you even had god in you why would you not even see that it was god plan for me to leave because they weren't friends to begin with and it only showed what was down in them and god will give us our exit even and this is another, I, this, another thing you don't have to be around someone to necessarily get a feel for them and you come off as such a caring woman you know, like, when you choose to love someone, you love them wholeheartedly. You'll be there for them. You'll go upside their head when they're wrong. And then you'll love them right back, you know, right afterwards. You know, there's, that's something special about that kind of love where you're not biased. You're like, right is right. Wrong is wrong. You were wrong because that's what God said. And then you love them even in spite of that because that's what we're supposed to do. You know, you, you cry loud, spare not. You love them, but at the same time, you got to call somebody on their stuff because their blood could be on your hands. So, I mean, how do you not understand that this woman, she has such a good heart. Like, all she wants to do is just live her life in peace. Just live her life in peace. Now, am I wrong? Because I have to ask this. This has always been bugging me for a minute concerning this $4,000. <laughs> Didn't all of that stem from... Because you didn't want a man. Yep. Okay, what happened was she was in the chat 
and she actually disrespected another subscriber that night. And, I was there that night, I remember. And then she started telling me that I was out of order because God has an, a man for me. And uh, and I'm saying, no, you can't tell me what God has for me. So she kept going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I didn't block her during that live stream. Right. After the live stream was over with, she starts emailing me and she starts telling me she can't believe that I chose to defend the lady who has never given me anything over her. Oh, my God. And she told me that I was testing you. She said I should have stopped. But I didn't because I was testing you to see this is what she said. Now, she said I should have stopped because you kept asking me to stop. And I intentionally and on purpose kept going because I wanted to see if you would be there for me in my time of need. When she said the word test, I was testing you and I should have stopped okay. and I didn't and I did it on purpose. When she said that, Vanessa was out. That Vanessa was stopped reading, I promise to God, I stopped reading the rest of her email I came to my channel, channels, and I blocked her immediately. I said, who does this woman think she is that she is right. going to test me? The only right. person I owe loyalty to that need to test me is God. And if you are my friend and we are building a genuine relationship, it ain't no need to test me. I don't need to test you and you don't need to test me. If we friends and we built a genuine relationship, girl, I got you. Right. You ain't got to test me. But the mere fact that you would cause a dilemma in my life to test me, that alone shows me that I don't want to have nothing to do with you. Because that means every time you think you need yeah. to, you want to prove that somebody got your back, you're going to be causing confusion. That, 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 I was out. Oh, yeah. And I told her, I said, so when I finally finished reading the message, I told her, I say, I forgive you for trying to test me and blah, blah, this. And I, I say, I'm no respect of persons. You disrespected the person in my chat. It doesn't matter if they never gave me a dime. What you did was wrong. And I wasn't going to allow you to disrespect no other subscriber in my chat. And I told her, I say, exactly. I've have blocked you. I've blocked you. And you can continue to watch from the watchtower the rest like everybody else. She said, oh, no, no, please don't block me. She begged me for hours not to block her. And I said, unfortunately, it's done. I'm not undoing it. <clears throat> After she seen I wasn't going to undo it, then she turned around and said, well, now I'm going to, she said, you're going to get it. And you've just made the biggest mistake. And now you're going to, I'm going to decide whether or not I want my money back from you. Don't work like that, honey. I remember that day. Ms. Vanessa, I swear, I was like, Ms. Vanessa, do not give her a single dime back. I remember saying that. Don't give her a single dime back. But you did. And that shows how good of a woman you are, too. But I tell you, I'd have been like, oh, honey, you just got to take me to court. Because I didn't force you to do that. Ms. Vanessa, we remember you saying to her, stop giving me things. I don't need this, you know. Thank you so much, but I don't need this. You don't have to keep giving me things. You were telling her that. You Let other people order like, stuff off the Amazon wish list. Why are you ordering everything off the Amazon wish list so I could keep saying your name over and over and over and over again? Because that was a trap. That was a trap. That was a setup. Right. That was a setup. And it's honestly sick because you, you wasn't. What, what about the people that do things without wanting to be seen and recognized? That shows the condition of her heart. Is she worried about what you do and how you do it and what you don't want to do with who? Hmm. And that's weird. And I'm sorry. Let, let's be real. If this, that was the case, that we were required to have a man in our lives, then why wouldn't God kill us off as couples instead of just, you know, a husband going for a wife or a wife going before a husband? We all have our numbers. Are, are, the numbers on our hair are all numbered. So where, where is this rule that... We have to have a man in our life. You know, and I'm married and I still don't even feel that way. You ain't got to have no man in your life to strive to please God. Mm. 
she just that was a whole setup and she was trying to pick and find something to start this whole situation and you know i'm over it i'm over her i'm over anybody else i can get over people because you know i'm i'm I appreciate people. I love people. When when you start causing drama in my life, I'm over. That's just where I'm at. I'm over yeah. it in my life where I'm not going to cry over spilled milk. I'm not going to... I'm going to move on and I'm going to keep it moving. I'm not going to stalk you. I right. hope you don't stalk me. And, and can we just keep it moving? Why I got to have all these stalkers? Right. And then they want to be the mad and every person that I show on my channel, they want to make a video about that person because they want to, just like with Tiny Home Tours, they're going to Tiny Home Tours and say, this lady hit a dog, you need to take this video down. You shouldn't associate your channel with her. Anybody that has any affiliation with me, they don't want me to have no affiliation, but they want to use my name to gain subscribers. Right. Right. So they don't even understand that if they are getting any kind of funds, you are literally the reason they're getting it. They're not doing it on their own merit. They have no lives. They're not important. These women are literally irrelevant. What is going on in your life where you can't even make no funds off your own back? Even, you the, do it off of even the person that claim they have more subscribers than me is irrelevant because uh, Absolutely. it's irrelevant because let me just say this. Uh, let me see how I want to put this. Uh, cause I've avoided speaking on this situation. It's so much I could truly say. It's so much that I could truly say. And all of those things that I could say also weighed on me leaving because when you add up the sum of who a person is, and that sum doesn't equal compatibility for you as oh, somebody yeah. that you would want to socialize with and be friends with. What are you truly building toward if you already see that that's not, you know, everybody is not going to be compatible. Right. And this person claims that she opened her house to me. And what I'm trying to ask myself is, and what people should be asking themselves is, what is the difference between Vanessa sleeping in a parking lot in the city and your parking lot? Right. How is it that you it's think you, you trying to get so much recognition? I opened my home up to her. I oh, opened goodness. my home up to you. I opened my life up to you. I tried to help you and your family make some money. You called right. me. I didn't call you. How somebody using you and they didn't even know you existed? See, it's so much I could say, but I choose not to say it uh, because she needs me to talk about her so she could say something else about me. Because that's how she grows her channel. That's how she gets clicks and views through drama. Every video that she has right. ever had on her channel that has gotten clicks and views has been through drama. She want to say, I don't have that, that, uh, that video with a million views is on somebody else's channel, but it's about me. Right. Go to their channel and look at all the videos that they have posted since they posted a video about me even the one that got 60 uh, 630,000 views that they just posted last month look at all the videos on the channel since me and tell me how many you see on there with 200,000 views I don't think right. it's none so and and so now they have two vi videos on their channel that is going to have a million views and they're both about me you want to make me the devil want to make me think oh the video is not about you it, it ain't on your channel but it's on their channel and it's helping me get subscribers on my channel and guess what i got a video on my channel with eight hundred thousand views on it almost to a million views i have been creating i have been creating viral videos since i've been on youtube i have deleted channels with viral videos on it I don't care if you say the video on uh, with a million views ain't on my channel. 
you ain't got one on yours with a million views and you don't have one on nobody else's channel with a million views exactly that's about you and why people, hate on me people think that, right and people think that again when i when i came across that video it doesn't you don't have to be homeless to be touched by that video you don't have to be a nomad you don't have to do van life you don't have to be in an rv you could be grounded on a plot you know what i mean on a lot and just living and it still was touching and you want to go ahead and get in the way of what God has planned? For what? Because this woman's story is epic. Everything she went through. And then you're going to call her a lie about the things that she personally experienced? Girl, these demons talk know? about I'm lying about being blinded in my eye by my mother at 12 years old. And, and I don't know. Somebody's going to tell you what your story is. Cause they demons, they point, they posting pictures of my eye when uh, I was younger, and even since I've been older. And see, her, her eye wasn't oh like this. My eye being like this don't have nothing to do with my sight not being in my eye, dummy. Exactly. My eye being like this don't have nothing to do with my sight being in my eye. First of all, when I tell my story on my channel in a very new future of my eye. Because you're not going to keep me, you're not going to bully me into, I'm not scared to say that my mother blinded me in my eye. My mama is still a li living. She denies right. it. She denies it, because, but she denies a lot of stuff. Right. She denies, she, 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 she denies a lot of stuff. Her whole life is a denial. Like right. her whole life is a denial. She, she, girl, please, I'm not worried about nobody denying. Who, first of all, if my mother admitted that she blinded me in my eye, she would be in jail right now. Right. Because even at that time, my mother and her lover threatened me and and pretty much was beating me and bullying me on the way to the hospital. Not to not to say what happened not to say that i that she whooped me that night with a belt and my mother fled my mother and her lover who assaulted me as a child eventually fled and my mother abandoned her five children I don't know if she knew, but I, the, I, the reason why they abandoned, my, they ran, he convinced her to run because the hospital kept trying to figure out what actually happened to my eye. They kept right. questioning me as a child. They were trying to coerce me into saying that somebody, because they felt like my eye had been burnt with a cigarette, the hospital did. My mother right. smoked cigarettes. They kept trying to get me to say, the hospital kept trying to get me to say that she burned me with a cigarette. Right. Even as a child, I still knew right from wrong. And I kept telling them, no, 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 she didn't burn me with the cigarette to the point where I completely shut down from their questions. And I wouldn't say nothing else. They were questioning me every day and I wouldn't say nothing else because they kept trying to get me to say that she had burnt me in the eye with a cigarette. So they never even got to the part where she hit me with a belt because they wouldn't allow me to. I was scared to say because they had threatened me. But now you're trying to make me say something that's not true. And it just made me shut down altogether. All right. But. In the midst of the hospital questioning me, they were questioning the adults too. So they were interrogating right. them every day. So eventually the lover and my mom left, skipped town and left. My mama abandoned her five children behind the hospital questioning me. And my mama gone for months, weeks and Sundays. And we are about to be taken to the foster care system. Mm -hmm. We, me and my five sisters and brothers about to be put in this, in the foster care system. 
But these demons are sitting here saying, you weren't blinded in your eye and your mama. Girl, why? you don't even know my mama. Why is it that you defending her? Because you was a mama like her or something? Why is right. it your job to question every single thing that I say and make me out to be a liar for everything that I say? Why is that your ag right. agenda? Because you're working for the devil, ain't you? Right. I was blinded I in my eye at 12 years old. And the distortion that you see in my eye now is also due to neglect of my eye. I'm going to tell my story. You can't tell it for me. Exactly. And you're not going to make me ashamed everything. to tell my story. Exactly. That is your testimony. And, and what's sad is these females is going to sit here and try to intervene in something and be personal about something that's not their business. It's not their story to tell. There's also other young kids out there that are going through things too. And this may be needed for them to stay strong and maybe have a voice to say something or just to, to just try to survive to get through it. We don't know why we go through the things we go through besides to just to sing God's glory, to say, well, this is the testimony of what God brought me through and you can make it too. Because somebody even right now as we speak is going through what you went through as a child. Yep. And you mean to tell me someone's going to get in the way and try to cause chaos and confusion for what? Some coin? Some attention? When you need to be paying attention to your own household. And even, even that, somebody might be going through what I'm going through, but it might be a mother out there who is doing to her child what was done to me. And it may touch her. And Just maybe... Up them seeing the damage that still affects me after all of these years, maybe it would make that mother say, I shouldn't be putting a man before. This has been all my, my mission as since I came to YouTube is to encourage women and teach women that every time you open your house to a new lover, you are potentially letting in the very man who will sexually assault your child. Yeah. And so if it's I can encourage anymore. some mother out there to be single and celibate and raise your children and put your children's education and well-being first and focus on that. I mean, you brought them in the world. So you got 21 years to dedicate to them. You should have thought about that before you did it. It's just sad. And put because your children I, I, first. It, if people really sat back and looked at you as a child of God and looked at your story, looked at your testimonies, looked at your experience and how you're still striving, how God has so much strength in you. They have no idea how powerful this whole situation is and how it helps many other people that's going to face their uphill battles, no matter what it may be. It may not be as severe or it may be worse, but we're, this is the whole point. Being fruitful and multiplying is not just about having sex and making babies. It also has to do with singing God's glories and putting it out there how good and graceful he is. And people are getting in the way of that with drama and confusion and messiness. And it's it's a problem. And God is going to judge no them. idea how much trouble there is. And this is why that night when that individual was telling me I need a man, what you just said being fruitful and multiply is more than being in a relationship i don't right. desire a relationship a physical relationship because i desire to win souls for the lord and that is more important to me i desire to encourage other people in the lord i desire to encourage somebody else so they will never take their life and so i can i can save more souls than, than children I can have. Right. I can encourage more people to be born again than to birth a child or to or a relationship or to take care and, and take care of a husband and nurture a man. Do you know how many people and women and children I can nurture and encourage and motivate with the same amount of time that I'm doing to a husband? Right. And that is my choice right to be now, a boy. vessel used by God 
and nobody you you what who are you to question what god has ordained exactly there's people out there right now that want to give up that have no hope that feel lost and feel like they have nobody you know what i mean and it's it's experiences and testimonies like this that will say make someone say well if god can get her through it he can get me through this too or I can make it just a little while longer. You got people that do gaming content on YouTube and other platforms. And you have people go in there and message and they'll say, thank you so much for your cheerful content. You know, I go through so much and it makes me want to look forward to another day. This is even that much more powerful because you are singing God's glory and his praises and you're showing his honor and how good he is and how merciful he is and how much strength he has in you. And you're not just sitting and playing a game. Like, that's all you talk about is the glory of God. And if people want to get in the way of that. They think they're hurting you, but they're not. They're really, honestly, hurting their own self and their own spirituality, and they're getting in the way of what God's plan is, and he's going to pluck them out eventually. Watch and see. I, uh, I talked to one of my relatives the other day. I talked to one of my siblings the other day, and we were talking, and that person tells me about my strength and how much they love me and what sacrifices I made for them. And it's a part of my story that I will not tell because I don't want to hurt that person. And that person told me the other day, they say, Vanessa, tell your story, sister. They say, don't worry about me. They say, tell your story and tell all of it. All right. But because I love my real my my siblings and I always protected them, I don't want to say things that will hurt them because I don't want nobody to judge them for what our parents did. All right. And my siblings say, Vanessa, tell your story. They say, they say, tell your story, write your books. And get your healing. Yeah. And I was crying and I was like, you know, you are the reason why I don't talk about this. You are the reason why my story have gaps. You are the reason why I don't say everything because I don't want to hurt you. And they say, I know you love me, but I'm grown now. <laughs> They say, I know you love me and I'm grown now. And what those people did to us have nothing to do with us. And right. Who, and who we are. And, and, and that person say, what was done to you have nothing to do with how you love me. And your story of how those people hurt you have nothing to do with me. Tell your story. And I was right. released. I was released. But I still, I, I was released, but because I still love people, I'm, I'm kind of have my own self in chains. I was released from that person, but I'm still kind of in shackles. All and right. people don't understand how it is to be in shackles, to have things that happen to you and never, ever, ever talk about them or share them. And you just have to hold them in. That is smothering. That is life threatening. That's why I do what I do and I say what I say and I don't care who don't like it. I don't care who say you're talking about your family members. Who cares? I'm not talking, I'm talking about my experiences. Right. I tell you, holding it in, I've lived it too. Holding it in, it's like being incarcerated for a crime you didn't commit. And you're just trapped. And you have the right to tell your story. 
whatever it is that you want to tell, you have the right to tell it. It's your story. It's what God got you through. And somebody out there needs to hear it. Yeah. Because they have their own battle right now to get through. Mm-hmm. And for someone to try to muzzle God's glory, it, it speaks volumes about them. They need healing too, obviously. Yeah. Yep. Because, you know, I, I, I would tell my child, you know, especially around when COVID was really heavy, you know, when you would see someone cough, it's a sign that they may be sick. So you're going to hurry up and either distance yourself or put on a mask. Yeah. I said, well, that's the same thing with people when it comes to negativity and nastiness. If they're always bitter and nasty and negative, that's a sign that they're sick. And just like you would distance yourself from someone coughing around COVID time and put on a mask, you do the same thing with that person that's negative and nasty, or if they're not going to be uh, productive in your journey in faith. You get away from it. You put your mask on. Cover yourself under God's blood and keep moving forward. There's nothing wrong with people being mature enough to say, you know what? This just isn't going to work. Mm-hmm. You're not going to benefit me spiritually. I'm not going to benefit you spiritually. We're going to be stagnant in each other's lives. Let's just move our own separate ways. And that's like, what's wrong with you? That's being what mature? I did. That's what I did. I just, you know, I left for my peace i always leave for my peace i'm not trying i'm not looking for confusion i'm not trying to cause confusion i don't want to argue i don't want to debate and sometimes you can't tell people what you see about their lives that you don't want to be affiliated with it's not your place to tell people uh say for instance i don't do drugs I've never done drugs before in my life. I drink on occasion, but I'm not an alcoholic. I I don't go to the club. I don't run men. It's not my place to say, okay, because this is where you are in your life. It's not my place to say, oh, you do drugs, and I don't want to be affiliated with nobody that do drugs. Bye. That's not my place to tell you that. It's not my place to say, oh, you drink too much, and I don't want to be around nobody that drinks. It's not my place to say, uh, you, you... you use men, you sleep with men, uh, you use people in general. It's not my place to say, I don't want to be around it. It's not my place to say, uh, you a liar and the truth ain't in you and I don't want to be associated with liars. It's not my place to say that. Right. It's my place to recognize what is okay for me and, and say, I'm going to exit stage left and I'm, I'm just going to bow out gracefully so and and then because i talk about stuff and something pertains to you that i talk about don't mean i'm talking about you and you can't sit up here and make me and say i'm talking about you and make me come out and say yeah i'm talking about you if i'm not and if i am and i still don't want to admit it you still can't make me do it (laughs) right i mean come on now but i mean it is what it is. Do they think they're the only one that you can experience something like that with? I mean, it's obvious. It's proof. Look at these people that are trying to ruin you. You know, that it can happen multiple times where people have ill will or ill intent. And, and the outcome, or even if they don't, sometimes things just don't work out. I had a girlfriend back in the day, and she said one sentence to me. I was done. You know, because I told you some time ago that I deal with lupus. And um, she she was that jealous type of friend where she didn't like for you to be, be friendly with other people. All to her, you know. And so she was upset with me one day, and she's like, you ain't dead yet? I said, yep, that's it. That's my ticket right there. I said, you know what? God bless you. I forgive you. I'm not worried. I'm not offended. I'm, I'm not even hurt at this point. Do you know, you know somebody re- said this, somebody said to me one day we thought you would have been dead a long time ago Mm. I was done who sits up and talks about seeing the hurt and pain of somebody and somebody wanting to self harm themselves and you can possibly stop it and you don't and you come to the conclusion oh we're gonna 
not only did the person say we thought you was going to be dead a long time ago, the person asked me, could they put an insurance policy on me? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they did. Oh my God. Mm hmm And they're People not and they're not and they're not living anymore. Uh, Ms. Vanessa, I kid you not, I have an aunt. You know, she was a little more on the hefty side and her doctor ridiculed her. Okay. You know, because she was going to have knee replacement surgery, and he was just like, you're fat, you're obese, this, this, and that. You're going to die. And it's like, guess what? This, it's not funny. It's like funny, but not funny, ha-ha. It's, it's God's sense of humor. This man was so disrespectful to my aunt that she just prayed. She broke down crying. When she got home, she prayed. I kid you not, not even a month back. This man was going bike riding, Mr. Healthy Tree Hugger, drinking weak arm and all this other stuff. He was riding a bike, got hit by a car, and died. You do not know when you will take your last breath. I don't care what size you are, what condition you're in. I've seen people given two weeks left to live. They lived 11 years. Mm -hmm. I've seen people given years to live, and they died within three, four days. You don't know when your last breath will be taken, and that's the only thing we're guaranteed in this temporary life. So... With that being said, why are you so focused on what this beautiful woman does in her everyday life when you need to be focused on when you're taking your last breath? Because hmm. you don't know and when that's going to end up for an eternity. And most of them people is have, listen, I might look like I'm sick, but girl, I'm in good health. And so, right. a, but a lot of y'all that want to talk about me are actually physically sick. <laughs> So, and take right. medicine. I take no medicine. I take vitamins and herbs. I'm not on nobody painkillers, nobody psych meds. Even if you think I should be, I ain't. I cry right. my tears and God didn't help me through everything that I done been through without ever being on anybody medication. I don't know how you want to sit up here and talk about me when you got, when some of these people need, when some of these people be rocking themselves to sleep in the corner. Right. I tell you, Miss Vanessa, now, you know, you said you may look sick, but you're not. I don't look sick, and I am. So what do I look like sitting there worried about with somebody else going on? And I got my own problem. Like, that's weird. That's the energy of these people in today's world is so sad and strange. Like, I just don't understand how you find the time. You got loved ones. You got spouses, you got children everywhere around you. How do you make up the time to pick apart everything someone is doing hmm. and all they're doing is just giving glory to God and just embracing their peace? Yeah. I love my mom to death, you know. We've had good and bad relationships, you know, throughout time. But her and I are on the same path where we're like, I don't care what the title is. If you're in the way of my relationship with God, it's a wreck. It is a wrap. It's over. And I, titles mean nothing when it comes to someone standing in the way of God. So somebody and said, it's is, two of us rejoicing in people dying. Wait, well, nobody rejoicing wow. in nobody dying. I'm not rejoicing in nobody no dying. They was, they was dying. rejoicing in me dying. <laughs> right. You need to clean out your ears and listen to that again. We were talking about how God is just. You can't sit here and focus on someone else's life and you're not worried about your own because God will then step in and his mercy will expire. Get your mindset together. There's mm. something wrong with a lot of you people where you take two words of something that someone says and you run with it. It shows your level of comprehension. Oh, so we are talking. There's a difference between comedy and not funny. There's funny as in coincidence, and then there's funny. Ha -ha. Oh, I think she was talking about the doctor. Okay, maybe I read it. Are you talking about the doctor, ma'am? She was talking about the doctor. How is that funny? Yeah, yeah. I, I think she was talking about the doctor. He, he, he tore her apart. He did. 
And some people have the, the power to affect somebody's self-esteem just with their words. I remember one time I went to the doctor. I went to the doctor one time. I cut this finger. And I was trying to take care of this finger at home and just wrapping it. And then one day I was at work and I almost fainted. And uh, I went to the doctor and he was like, do you want to die? He was a, a, a Arab. And he was like, do you want to oh, die? He, he took my finger off. He said, you about to have gangrene. So he took the wrapping off my finger. He cleaned it out. And he started asking me some questions. He started asking me, wow. you know, about my health. He started asking me about, have you ever, uh, have you ever, you know, so I was telling him I'm, was, I'm a burn victim survivor. Uh, you know, he was asking me, so have you ever, and then I told him my, my eye, I was blinded in my eye. And so he was just asking me all these questions. And then next thing you know, I just started crying. He mm. called his wife up in there and you know, it was a, I guess it was a family clinic. He called his wife up in there and then his wife was patting me, calming me down. And she was like, what's wrong? And I just was like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know but it was just him asking me it was and it wasn't just him asking me uh see i had a gallstone surgery and he was like oh wow you're so young you've been burnt you have third degree burns your eye is blinded and your you have gallstone surgery whoa you've been it was just his over expression of shock to everything yeah. that I've been through. And it just made me remember everything I've been through and just made me start crying. <laughs> yeah. I probably gave that man the biggest scare of his life because I was just up there crying and bawling and he didn't know what he had did, but it was just, it, it wasn't the fact that I had been through everything I've been through. It was his response. Every time I would say, he would ask me a question and I would say, give him an answer. And he'd be like, oh my goodness, you're too young to be blind in your eye. What happened? Right. And right. oh my goodness, you had a gallstone surgery. You had your gallbladder removed. You're just such and such and such and such age. And it was, right. it's like he was making it worse. <laughs> and I just, I, I started crying, but. You know, people just don't understand. And for people to make fun of somebody else's heartache and pain and suffering and then to turn around and say they lying. I mean, yeah, you're trying to trigger me. Yeah, you're trying to hurt me. Yeah, you're trying to make me shut up and stop talking about my... You're trying to make it seem like I talk about my things that I've been through to play on people's emotion, to get cash apps. Ain't nobody sending me no cash apps and I'm still talking. Right. I'm going to continue to talk about what I've been through to the day I die. Talking, listen, I, as I stated, I am not on no pills, no medication, ain't never been locked up in no straitjacket, ain't never been locked up in no psych ward, ain't never had to take medication for bipolar, schizophrenia, none of that. Right. And I still almost took my life three times. But I right. made it through. God finally helped me through what I've been through by talking about what I'm going through. Is somebody else out there like me that may be ready to end it all and they just need to talk about it. They just need to let it go. They just need to know that you may not get the resolution that you're looking for from people, but you still are worth being here. That's it. And that's my message. That's going to be my message. I don't care if I have already helped the number of people that I'm supposed to help in my life and don't nobody else get helped. You don't know. You don't know. Nobody helped me. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have that example. I didn't have somebody on social media that I could, that I could relate to, to help me when I was crying or to say, okay, this person been through this and it's similar to what I've been through and they understand what I'm going through. Right. And so to the to the witches and the evil people that want to silence me, you better go pray to God and tell him to do it. 
Right. Because that's the only way it's going to happen. God going to shut me up. If I was in prison and I received a life term in prison, I'm still talking. I'm still writing books. I'm still encouraging. I'm still motivating. Exactly. God can use animals to talk to people. You mean to tell me he can't use Miss Vanessa? Yeah, he said he'll he use he'll let a rock crowd in your place. He said he'll let a rock crowd in your place. So why are you trying to silence me? Why would you want to get I've right. said this on my channel before. Why would you want to get in the way of what God wants to use me to do? It might not be you he talking to, but you see so many people on the channel. You see all the comments in the tiny home videos. Thousands and thousands of comments saying, I needed to hear this. Why would you want to try to stop that if you are a person of God yourself? Because that's flesh. That's what that is. That ain't even the devil. That is filthy flesh. And they're playing into it. And it's going to get them in a lot of trouble. It's going to get them in a lot of trouble. Uh, what, what did she say? Yeah, reprobate mind. They better get it together and really look and seek for God. Stop worrying about other people. Worry about what's going on inside of you. If anything, they could, they could use this as a blessing, kind of spinning this. It was something about Miss Vanessa that brought all of this nastiness out in me. So at least I know what's going on with me. I could pay attention to it and seek God to help me, to create in me a clean heart. You know, sometimes it takes one person that is on their path, you know, and is humble enough to trust God and follow the path. There's something wrong on the inside of you to hate that person. All you're doing, you, you really don't even hate Miss Vanessa. You hate God and Vanessa. That's what it is. You need to see God to create in you a clean heart, to, to, to work on your mind, to, to help you fight your flesh. Because these are decisions that are being made at the end of the day to hate someone who's really done nothing to you. Mm. Somebody, uh, nothing to you. I was talking to somebody and they seen a video that somebody made about me. And they had asked me over a year ago, they said, Vanessa, is that person a good person? I said, no. That's all I said was no. Right. That person called me recently after seeing a video of the person. And they say, oh my goodness. She's not a good person. <laughs> Right. I say it. Mr. Nelson, how, how kid you not? I seen one video in my recommended channel thing. And it was some female. I'm not even going to go there about how she looked. My God. You could tell she's miserable. But when I heard the words coming out of her mouth, my flesh started to rise. You know, because I'm very passionate about people that I care about. My my flesh started to try to rise up, and I was like, you know what? I need to get away from this channel. I, I only heard like three minutes, if even that. I said, that's it for me. I don't like filth. That's filth. I don't want no part of that. You're trying to ruin somebody who's literally done nothing to you. So it says a lot about not only the person with the content, the viewers that are taking pleasure in that. It even says that in the Bible. Yeah. You don't take pleasure in people that are doing evil things. And I'm not trying to tear <laughs> nobody down. Like whoever I left alone, whichever one of my subscribers wanted to go to that person's channel and subscribe to them and stay over there, you don't see me cursing. You don't see me fussing. You don't see me hollering and screaming. You don't see me trying to turn nobody against that person. Yeah. It's things that I could say that could really turn some stuff upside down. I choose not to. Right. I choose to just let people, if you want to be deceived, I'm going to let you be deceived. If you if you right. want to stay over there, stay over there. If you want to stay over, you can go wherever you want to go. It's a free country. I don't care because whatever a person thinks they made me lose, God going to give it to me tenfold. Right. Well, I live strong by the whole seducing spirits situation you are what you eat you know they have a saying if you have a dog the longer you're around the dog the dog start looking like you and you start looking like the dog well what do i look like sitting here entertaining somebody that's so full of bitterness and misery so then that becomes a part of me too i refuse mm -hmm. i refuse 
because there's so much goodness in God. Who do I look like sitting here having a hate session on someone who's done nothing to me? And they trying to make up stuff that, is, that I done, saying I did this and I did yeah. that. I, baby, I ain't never did nothing to you. I left in peace. I left in peace. I said my prayers. I got in my car. I rode away because God told me to leave. That's it. And God told but me to leave, will, and he blessed said, me. He blessed me with the trailer in the process of me leaving. I was supposed to be where I was where I was at. Right. I was supposed to be. I wasn't supposed to be sleeping in nobody's driveway. I was supposed to be where I was at. Tending to my business. What I look like tending to somebody else's business. What 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 it look like somebody mad at me because I leave to go tend to my own business. Right. I mean, so that's, this drove me insane. Like, I'm sitting here, I'm broke down. I, you know, I barely have money and stuff like that. So, but I'm sitting here seeing this beautiful woman, you know, and how God's bringing you through all these different levels and stuff. And I'm sitting here, I'm talking to my husband, I said, oh my God, babe, I wish I had the money. I said, I know it's got to be burning hot. While she's sitting there in the shed, and the next thing you know, you was able to get an AC unit. You know, all these different things. How do you not celebrate God blessing somebody? How do you not celebrate that? Mm. You could be in the way of your own blessings when you've been hating on somebody else receiving a blessing. That's weird. Yep. I, I just can't. And then, I, was, I was happy. And then they hate on my friendships. They hate on my friendships. They want Miss me and Miss Charlene not to be friends. And Miss Charlene's sister don't like me. Miss Charlene's dogs don't like me. And let me tell you something about Miss Charlene and Miss Pauline. I don't know who they are, but I swear I love the energy between the three of y'all. I watch that short all the time. I don't know why. But when you were getting ready to leave from Miss Charlene, and she say bye. And she's like on the camera. I won't be on the camera. I swear, I laugh so much and feel so much love between the two of y'all. Like, why would you not be happy for somebody to have that that kind of love? You know what I mean? Because I'm not supposed to. With all to, this darkness in this world, I'm not supposed to have nobody that love me. I'm supposed to be unlovable. I'm supposed to not oh be a goodness. good friend. You know, they 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 talk about me. I'm supposed to, I used Miss Charlene. Uh, I used her. I stayed in her house over my welcoming time and period. And but I'm going back. <laughs> I guess they gonna I guess they gonna get mad and upset again. I'm going back when I'm ready. Well, to my bedroom. I'm <laughs> I'm going to have to tell you, Miss Vanessa, because when I first decided to call, oh, I was going to be on a pure roast session. I was going to go in on their heads, and they were going to be so upset that they're going to be like, I don't know if it's black until you kiss this, but now it's war, blah, blah, blah. But then when I heard your voice and I heard your spirit, and I was like, you know what? It's already done. I don't have to say anything nasty. I don't, you know. God is just raging through this woman. Your skin's glowing. You're beautiful inside and out. And they hate it. They're bothered. Oh, well. And yes, I've seen the video when you had the green cream on your face. You don't even need that. It's so beautiful. And, and you know, and then people are bothered by that. Get you a routine so you don't have to worry about hating Miss Vanessa for being so beautiful. Let God radiate through you. And you won't have to worry about being so ugly. Well, they say I'm you ugly, baby, inside, but I ugly, I know I'm not ugly. I ain't never been ugly, so I don't Child, know what you're talking you talking about. Ugly. You Child. are not ugly. Meanwhile, the way some of them act, they look like they should be poked with a stick through a cage. Sorry. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> ugly, you know. <laughs> absolutely not. I will, I will stop. Absolutely not. Miss Pooh Bear, she said you're absolutely gorgeous, and she is right. You are gorgeous, Miss Vanessa, inside and out. And you help us in so many ways. Please keep doing what you're doing. Keep striving in God. Because you don't even have to say the words. You can make it if you try. Me seeing you depending on God and striving in God, that says it to me alone. That person last night or whatever talking about, 
you shouldn't be praying to God to fight your battles. First of all, she doesn't have to say it. God's still going to get you. But that that's our father. That's my when you father. have siblings acting out, you used to be like, oh, uh, dad, mom, so-and-so is doing this. You I, know, yeah. I, mean, I have to cry out to my God. Nobody can tell me what kind of relationship to have with my God. I have to cry out to him because there was a time in my life where I held in so much hurt and pain. Then when I finally decided to release that hurt and pain, I decided to release that hurt and pain in a way because I didn't know nothing about releasing hurt and pain in a good way. I was releasing that hurt and pain in a negative way that was even detrimental to my own health. And God set me down one day. He let me learn a very important lesson. And he said, listen, Vanessa. Let me fight your battles. He said, when you take matters into your own hands against the person who did you wrong. Now I have to judge them. But now I have to turn around and judge you for what you did to them. He say, now yeah. they was wrong for what they did. And if you would have let me handle them, you would have got to witness me fighting your battle. But now because you fought your own battle, now I got to deal with both of y'all. And I'm like, but God, yeah. you can't tell your mama, but she hit me first. So that's what we want to do. We want to tell God she hit me first. Right. And see, God exactly. told me, but Vanessa, if you let me deal with them, you will never want to get another lick ever again in life. So one day I had this situation occur and I wanted to take matters into my own hands. But I say, uh-uh, I'm going to let God, God told me, so I'm going to let God deal with it. And girl, I let God deal with it. And then eventually I seen something and I was like, Lord, I wouldn't have did all that. <laughs> And I was like, I, I was, I was stunned because the things that that person had went through, like I would have just did one thing. <laughs> I'm telling you what, if anything, folks should hope that another fellow human being does something because when God steps in, oh, there's no mercy when it's done. And so that's why there's now no mercy. I will not. The worst I would do is come on here and talk some noise. And I, I have to stop that. But I will not take matters into my own hands anymore ever in life because uh, -uh God fights my battles. Mm. And when I see the things that God do to people, I really be feeling sorry for them. Yes. So they want to say I'm rejoicing that somebody, something bad happening to people. I came on here this morning praying that these people would stop doing what they're doing because I don't want to see nothing happen to them. I don't want to see your family. Your, your replay. Huh? I heard it in your I heard it in your replay that you said I don't want to do anything to them. I'm giving them a chance. I'm giving them a chance to do what's right. I felt that you did not want to be, you know, to react the way that they want you to. I felt that your your passion and your love for another fellow human being. You don't love what their action is, but a child of God, of course, we have to love everybody, but not what they do. But the thing is, it's like, do you not understand this woman is trying the best she can out of love and decency to, to just give you a chance to be an adult and humble yourself and just simply say, look, I was wrong. You know, I, I shouldn't have did this. This was wrong. This was whatever. And people should have enough common sense to know, and you didn't hit a dog. But even if that happened, there's laws. If they don't have a dog on a leash, you ain't going to be in trouble. There's been people that have been in trouble for jaywalking. And if you don't have a dog on a leash, they could even be in trouble for not having the dog on a leash. True. And that's what, and when I spoke, gonna... when I spoke to the police at uh, Abilene State Park, he said, we investigated this situation and it's bogus he said but not only he said you didn't hit a dog nobody dog was injured nobody dog came up missing we have no reports of a dog being injured in the park he said but even if it was 
He say everybody that comes into this park is required to have their dog on a leash. Right. You know what else is scary and this one happened? is the time that they took all of these different callers to contact the local authorities. Who did they get in the way of the police potentially helping the other day? What if somebody was being robbed? What if somebody was being assaulted in some kind of way? And you're busy calling, lying in on Miss Vanessa, getting in the way of somebody else potentially needing help. And on top of that, rejoicing, for that? rejoicing and, and saying, I'm going to jail. She going to go to jail. She, You want me to go to jail. You want to, you want to, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of it. But you want to create, I can't think of the word I'm looking for. You want to create a scenario, cause chaos behind the scenario, have multiple people call in so I could go to jail. What you think that's going to do if I go to jail? I'm going to tell you before, baby. I'm going to tell you right now, baby. If I go to jail, I'm talking about Jesus. Right. If I go to jail, I'm winning some souls for the Lord. If I go to jail when I come out, I'm still going to be blessed and highly favored. Jail can't. Jail not going to hinder my blessings. I could still be blessed in jail. You're right. Because it's not about where it I go. It's about who I take with do. me. Yeah. If God have it, it for me to go to jail, to I will go to jail willingly if that's what God have for me. I'm not scared of nothing. I, if I could take my father with me, if he could come back and get me right now, I'll go. I always say I'll trade places with my sister who died. I'll trade places right. with her today if I could. And God knows it's the truth. I understand. And it ain't because I, I, I just would want to go be with my father. Like, them people is right. in a... Child, I'm jealous. People want to say I'm a jealous individual. I ain't never been jealous of nobody in my life. I said it the other day. I right. am jealous of people that's in heaven because I would like to be there right now. Right. Can you imagine a life where there is no more peace? I mean, no more pain. No more sorrow. No more death. No more struggle. Just seeing God and worshiping him in glory. No more pain, like no more sickness. And it, I mean, why would people not even think about that? And you're so busy worried about hating someone who just sitting wants up to there God. Sitting up there foaming at the mouth, <laughs> talking about me. <laughs> like a rabid dog. Like, I don't get that. Oh, Jesus. I just don't get it. But Miss Vanessa, I had to get on here. To and I appreciate you, you. I look forward to every time I see you in the chat. If I don't know nobody else going to come through with them comments, I always know it's going to be you. So I know. Sometimes I'm not well. And my voice, I'm sorry it's so deep. I used to have a trick because I almost died from COVID, mm -hmm. you know, with my immune system being so weak. Mm -hmm. But God is good because they said I was going to have a trick forever. Don't yeah. have it. They said I was going to die. I'm still here. Praise it does Lord. not matter what man says. God has the final say. He does. Yep. And you women, I know you watching, like Miss Vanessa says, in the watchtowers and in the bushes, being all ashy. You are not going to stop God's plan for this beautiful woman. If anything, yes, you're jealous. Obviously, you're jealous. Only jealous people would do this stuff. But what you should do is desire to have what this woman has in God. And look over your life and work on what you need to work on in your flesh. Because that's what I do every time I see Miss Vanessa. I go over my life. I go over myself. I think about what I can work on. I ask God to reveal to me what is down inside of me so it can be worked on because I don't want to be lost. There's, there's no time to be in somebody else's business when you got your own business to tend to. There's no time. That's true. And that's why I don't have time. Vanessa. And I'm going to tell you one more thing. Uh, I okay. wasn't, when they called the place and got me kicked off the property i wasn't gonna right. say anything about it because that's what they wanted i wasn't gonna say nothing about it but i didn't know about all them videos that they had made talking about i had hit a dog and i didn't know mm -hmm. that they had put the people's address up there and the phone number up there and i didn't know that they had called in to the state park i ain't know none of that 
When I found mm. out about all of that, and then when I went over to Tiny Home Tours and I seen the comments, them talking about she hit a dog, I had to say something. Yes. And you know, then they get mad when I say something. She over there upset. She over there screaming and hollering. She over there lying. Ain't not one lie came out of my mouth about nothing. Yeah. And you know, some people, they'll say, oh, just don't even entertain and this, that. But at the same time, you have to understand, she has to do damage control because they could get in the way of other people possibly turning to God that never did turn to God. And if you hear one soul say, you know, God's grace, God's grace, God's glory, turn to him. He'll cover you. No matter what you're going through, he'll carry you through it. And you got these people trying to intervene and bring all this chaos. You're in the way of what God is trying to play forward. And he's going to get you. No doubt about it. It's coming. You better get it together because we don't have long. Every time we have a back pain, a sneeze, a cough, everything, it's a sign that we're all going out of here. There's no time for pettiness and bitterness. And I know these women are hearing this. You've heard Ms. Vanessa talk about it. Now you're hearing black women kids to talk about it. Your days are numbered. All of the hairs on our heads are numbered. And one day you are going to be in judgment. And you're going to look back at these different lives and these different posts and all these messages that you could have used for your own good. And you're going to have to answer to our Father for your actions, your decisions. They weren't mistakes their decisions and I do I pray that these women find some kind of healing mental healing emotional physical whatever it was they've been through clearly they've been a victim of something and they're <laughs> riding that coattail but I pray that they get healing even from what they're doing to themselves because now they're their own uh, uh, uh what, what would be the word defended or something they're their own attacker they're hurting themselves nobody else hurting them at this point you know, they need help. And I pray that they get the help that they need because you don't want to see anybody lost. But hell is too long and too hot. I cooked some food the other day. That grease popped and hit me on the chest. I said, oh, Lord, I don't want that for the rest of my life. You think I, I, I don't want to feel the grease popping at me. You think I want to feel hell for the rest of my life? A thousand years pass, and you still got a thousand more to go, and a thousand more to go, and all that's going to be reminded is that seed, the very reason why you are there. Mm -hmm. And imagine YouTube would be the reason you end up lost. That's sad. That's sad. But that's I why I ask have, them to, be, to leave me alone. I say, don't let me be the reason you go to hell, because I ain't worth you're it. You're right. I'm not worth it. But you got it, Miss Vanessa. You do. You got it through and through. God is working through you, in you. I know there ain't no doubt in your mind, and even if there is, I'm letting you know, too, you got this. I'm so happy that I got to hear your voice over the phone. I'm so happy that I got to talk to you, and we get to see you every day. Keep doing what you're doing, because it is working. You are helping us and helping yourself, even, too, in the process. God is good. I love you. I love all the, the subscribers and nutty buddies. My husband is bugging me, so I got to go ahead and <laughs> call him back. But please keep doing what you're doing, Mr. Okay, Nessa. and thank you. Hang in there. And I love Hang you, and there. thank you for calling, and I appreciate you. I love you, too. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, y'all, somebody then called multiple times. Somebody else been trying to get through. I done had like four more calls. If somebody else want to call, now is the time to call. Dial star 67. I'm going to put the chat on mute to I verify you're not a troll. Do I need to say the number again? Dial star 67. 732-631-7347. Seventy three forty eight. Did y'all enjoy the caller? Miss Elizabeth say be well, caller. Be well and be blessed. 
Uh, Miss Elizabeth say this is God's doing. It is marvelous in his eyes. This live was tremendous. Miss Rachelle say she is on lunch. Hey girl, I'm glad you could spend my, your lunch with me. Uh, Miss Denise, somebody tried to call like four times while I was on the phone with the other caller. So if you want to call now, we need five more thumbs up to get to 200 thumbs up. Please thumbs up the live stream if you haven't already. Uh, Miss Sharonda say the caller spoke a lot of truth. Miss uh, Katrina say, yes, she is lovely. Miss Bear say, absolutely. Flowers, marvelous. Okay, I got like four calls while I was waiting on, while I was talking to the other caller. Y'all can call back now. I am working, but definitely listening and sending good vibes thank you miss bear yes caller you are the queen of the day thank you for calling in and blessing miss vanessa and the rest of us this was amazing miss lolo uh miss vanessa i truly did enjoy the caller god bless you it's not over with y'all. We, we ain't gone nowhere yet. I'm waiting to see who else was trying to call earlier. Somebody was trying to call or maybe that was just the trolls that didn't want her to keep calling, talking, and they was trying to interrupt the call. Vanessa, don't forget to drink some water. I just did, girl. I just finished a whole bottle of water. Girl, now I got the pee. Hold on. I'm about to turn y'all around. Give me a minute. I got to use the bathroom. I was holding it. Thank y'all for 202 thumbs up. Even what these people have done to me, y'all, I forgive them. I love them. I ask God to forgive them and lead them to repentance. Uh, I hope they do turn from their evil, wicked ways. I do hope that they give their lives to the Lord. Earlier today, y'all, uh, I went live on the other channel, Vanessa VIPB, and one of my subscribers shared with us Psalms 63 and 64. It was a blessing to me. Psalms 63 and 64. So when you guys get a chance after this live stream, check it out. Is there anybody else that want to call in? Dial star 67-732-631-7348. Share your thoughts on today's live stream. 
share your thoughts on what's going on just share whatever it is you want to share they better get it right quickly keep letting god use you for his glory thank you martin thank you i don't know who tried the call you are anointed and the bible says touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm people better stop the hate girl i am very anointed and god 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 gave me that it ain't child he chose me <laughs> he chose me i don't know why but he did and i can't ain't, ain't even nothing i could do about it like if i don't do what god want me to do i'm gonna be disobedient and then he's he gonna get me girl i ain't trying to get got <laughs> going to make me cry it is a happy cry you gonna cry miss carolyn girl let's cry together vanessa don't forget to drink your water i did miss vanessa i truly did enjoy the caller uh miss rachelle say amen please jesus help them to repent and find you a gain Gain a sister in Jesus' name. Cha, I'm just going to pray for their salvation, but I ain't trying to be friends with none of them. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, no, no. I pray you get saved. I pray you do the will of God, and I'm going to wish you well. And God could really use you know let me tell y'all something god could use anybody anybody god could use anybody and some people don't realize that god have something for me god want to use me to touch somebody and god if you stop trying to play god and stop trying to play have game god could use you to it might be somebody in your family that needs to see your light but you ain't shining because do i have another call somebody else called i don't know who you are that's trying to call but call back Call back. Uh, God can use anybody. And God have people that your life can touch. Your strength can touch. Your faith can touch. Don't, don't hate on somebody else's journey. Somebody else's testimony. My testimony is my testimony. My relationship with God is my relationship with God. Focus on your own relationship. And let God use you. It's not for you to say how God should use me or what or who, what I do, what I do and what I say, who it should touch. God's will has been done in this life today where there are two or three gathered. God is in his midst. Thank the Lord. I have been choking back tears too. Usually I have popped in and spoke and moved on, but my spirit is brought right here, sending viral hugs and prayers and vibrations. Thank you for staying in. Sorry, two or three. I still read it, girl. Y'all ain't got to be erasing stuff. I still be understanding what y'all trying to say. Should I pray before I go, y'all? Should I pray before I leave? Or we have we said enough already? Again, all I could do is ask these people to leave me alone. Stop spreading lies on me. Please take the videos down for your sake and mine, saying that I hit a dog because I did not. Police report is out there. I did not hit a dog. I mean, I don't have no beef with nobody. Whoever has a beef with me, whoever is mad at me and angry with me, 
and said I did this to them and I did that to them. I didn't do nothing to you. Please stop lying and saying I doxed you. I doxed your family. I did this to you. I didn't. I didn't do it. You over there with doxers. Someone doxed my location on a whole channel that you support the other day. They doxed my physical location and they all called in to a place. So lady, you don't have a problem with doxing. So why are you on your channel saying she doxed me? She doxed me. Why are you on your channel hollering and screaming and talking about I'm doxing you and you associated and affiliated with people that dox? That's endangering my life. Clearly, you don't mind somebody else's life being in danger. It's time for me to pray now. Have a wonderful, blessed evening. Let, let ignorance be God. Give. You got your back. Miss Yolanda say, I am in the background, but definitely in your corner. Been sick for a few months. Pray for me, and I definitely will be praying for you. Thank you, Miss Yolanda, for being here, and I definitely will be praying for you. Jesus Christ is greater than all of them. That is so true. Hey, baby. Blessings to you, Miss Vanessa. So sorry about the trolls and the demons. I pray the Lord keep blessings, protection, and peace and happiness for you. Let me pray, y'all. <sighs> Lord. Y'all, before I pray, let's relax. Relax. Relate. And release. Let's release, y'all. Father God, as we come to you right now, Lord Jesus, we thank you, Father God, for your blessings, your love, your kindness, your mercy, your grace, your forgiveness for our sins, the blood of your son, Jesus, who died for the sins of the world, so that we may live life and live it abundantly, Father God. Father God, you see all, you know all, you see the attacks on my life, Father God. You see the threats on my life, Father God. You see the lies told on me father god you know the people that are meeting in private behind the scenes plotting and planning against me father god i ask you father god to fight my battles father god you know what it's gonna take to have this stop i've asked nicely father god for people to stop for people to leave me alone but it has continued, Father God. So right now, I bring my burdens to you in prayer. My life is being jeopardized. My safety is being jeopardized. My locations are being doxxed, Father God. And I ask you, Lord Jesus, to lead these people to repentance, to change their hearts, Father God. Only you know whether or not they will listen and take heed. But, Father God, if they decide not to listen, they, de they decide to continue to do what they're doing, Father God, I ask you to stop each and every one of them. Put a stop to their behavior. Put a stop to their lies. Put a stop to their attacks and their threats on my life, Father God. I ask you, Father God, to let them reap that which they sow. If they're not going to repent, if they're not going to turn, let them reap that which they sow. And I ask you, Father God, to give me the strength that I need to fight this battle. Give me the money that I need to take any and everybody that I need to take to court, to hire lawyers, private investigators, whatever it is I need to get resolution for my life, Father God. I entrust you with what I need to do to succeed at whatever it is I need to do to ensure my safety 
and my peace, Father God. I thank you for my subscribers, Lord Jesus. I thank you for their love and their support. I thank you for people whose eyes aren't blind, who see the truth, Father God. I ask you to touch the lives of every single person in my chat, every single person, Father God, that is rooting for me, every single person, Father God, that is going through a struggle in their own lives, Father God, but yet they are still here to encourage me, Father God. I ask you to bless them beyond measure. I ask you to return tenfold anything to anybody that is sowing seeds into my life, Father God, whether it be a prayer, whether it be watching my videos, giving it a thumbs up, leaving comments, or their monetary donations, Father God. I ask you to bless their lives tenfold over. Let them not ever miss anything that they give to me. I thank you, Father God, for everything you've done, everything you're about to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Ooh, it's five o'clock, girl. I wanted to go somewhere before three o'clock. It's not too late. I could still go. Y'all, I lied. I said this live was not going to last long. I said I was going <laughs> to I said I was going to be on here. I said I was going to be on here for an hour and 30 minutes. I said I was not going to be on here long. Look at how long y'all done held me up. Look at how long y'all done held me up. Okay, y'all, I'm about to go. I'll probably be back live on this channel of Vanessa's Van Life Journey. I mean, of Vanessa VIPB later tonight. Eating something. I'm probably going to eat some shrimp and some bacon tonight. Uh, I'm getting good solar in today. And I definitely have to get up and go do what I need to do tomorrow, y'all. I ain't did nothing today, nothing yesterday. So I'm about to go ride right now somewhere and take care of some business i need to throw my trash away empty my pee bucket so i'm gonna talk to y'all later i love y'all i appreciate y'all thank y'all for your prayers y'all have a blessed and wonderful day thanks for watching bye nutty buddy nation i need to do a nutty buddy dance nutty buddy nutty buddy ain't we got ain't Nutty buddy, nutty buddy, don't we have fun? <laughs> I'm going to make up a nutty buddy song. Somebody type in the comments below if you have any scriptures you want to share. If you have a nutty buddy song, type it in the comments bar below. And I love y'all. Everybody that's in the chat right now, after I leave the live, come and leave a comment on the live stream. Let me know you was in here. Let me know if you was blessed. Let me know. Just talk to me in the comments and I'm going to heart your comment. Okay, bye. See you later.